Welcome! In this report, we look at the new portfolio settings. The site-wide portfolio settings are situated in the Site Administration section. If we look under Plugins for the Portfolio options, and then click on Manage Portfolio, we can see that some of the portfolios are already active, and some are not. In this case, we see that the Google Docs and the File Download are both set up, but Box.net, Flickr and Picasa are not added yet. Now there are some common settings such as file size, which can take a moderate or high amount of time to transfer, but mostly you can leave these at default. But enough about the back end, what about practical usage? Let's go down to the main page and look at a test course. So for this demonstration, I'm going to show you two things. One, a news forum post, and secondly, an online text assignment. So let's go into the news forum. Here is a topic I posted earlier. Now, as you can see, this is looking a bit different. Firstly, along beside edit, delete and reply, I now have an option to save. And also along the top here, I have an option with a drop down of file download and Google Docs and save. I'm going to use the save here on this particular post. So clicking on save. This is exporting content from the news forum. And now I can choose where it's going to. And in this case, I'm going to save it to Google Docs. I select Google Docs and click next. As you can see here, I've been doing testing earlier, so I have some previous exports. So it's asking me to confirm this export. This will be important if you've made a change to the item and you want to get the latest copy. So I'll click continue. And now, depending on how long the system takes, this could take a little while or a long while to transfer the file. But once the portfolio export is complete, you then can return back to where you were or continue on to your portfolio and do something with the file you've just exported. But let's go back to the forum. And here we are back at the forum again. So that's an example of exporting a forum file to Google Docs. But let's, have, let's go and have a look at Google Docs, shall we? So here we have Google Docs, and I'll just refresh that. And here we can see the post has just been added in. Let's have a look at the post. And here we have some random text, test topic, the date and time. If we look back at the Moodle site, that's exactly what was here. But what about that online assignment? Let's go and look at it. So here we have my online text assignment. Here I was asked to write some excellent Latin. And here is lorem ipsum dollar, text that some of you web designers probably well recognize. So at the bottom now, I have these options for file download or Google Docs. And in this case, we're going to choose file download. So we'll choose that and click on save. And here then it gives me options to export in multiple formats. And at the moment you have two formats available, HTML, which is a web page, and Leap 2A portfolio format. This is used by things like Mahara and other portfolio products. But let's go with HTML. Click continue. And then it offers to download the file. So once that's finished, I can then return back to my course. So there you go, two examples of how to use the portfolio plugin. One, exporting a forum post to Google Docs, and the other, downloading the online text assignment to your desktop. That's all for now.